Hey guys, it's Vince. I wanted to do a video real quick on how to install the UC CNC software that controls the UC100 USB motion controller from CNC Drive. Um, I get a lot of questions on this. It's really basic, but sometimes there are so many different variables with computers that the software installation that should be simple sometimes isn't. So I hope this kind of answers pretty much all the questions out there. First thing you're going to want to do is come over and we're going to go to cncdrive.com, in which case, for most of you guys, I just give you the link when you purchase the software from me and you'll be good. Um, once CNC Drive you're on, you're really going to look for products. You're going to click on that. You're going to come over to UC CNC Machine Control Software. We're going to click on that. Now we're going to scroll down and you're going to see option number two under downloads for this product UC CNC software installer you're going to want to go through the on-screen prompt you can either download and save it to the drive or you can run it I prefer to save it to the drive so you always have a copy it's much faster go through the typical on-screen prompts and you can see here it is compatible with Windows XP 7, 8, 8, 1, 10 and it includes all operating systems 32 and 64 bit so you guys can see why I love this software on top of it being super easy to basically understand and operate. Once that's completed, I'm going to close out of this. Now what we're going to do is you're going to go onto your drive wherever you have your license and you're going to come over here to the default location where the software was installed. In my case it was on my C drive. And you can see the folder UCC and C. You're going to open that up and you're just going to paste your license anywhere in this folder and you'll be set. This way now the software is registered to you. Um, also, take note on the fact that your serial number on the UC100 you purchased through me is also linked to your license so that they co correspond with each other so that there is a copyright infliction with that. So just keep note on that. That's the way UC CNC protects their hardware and, and intellectual properties of the software. So once you've got that all handled, you're basically good to go. Now what you're going to want to do is come into your UC CNC software. We're opening it up right now. And again, your reset's going to chime in and let you know that your e-stop now, it's just the system going through its normal uh, its normal phases of opening up. We're going to reset that. And you can see it's telling me the reset logic of the software is active. So basically what it's telling me is that in this reset condition cannot be removed. It can be due to an external e-stop is pressed or a limit switch on the machine tool is active, please check the diagnostic page for the signals, for the input signals condition. So you guys could possibly get this. It's very, very possible. We're going to click reset. And now we're going to come over here to diagnostics. And you can see everything is good. The reason that I got that screen, and this is something you guys may encounter, I did it purposely, is because I left my control box off. So the gecko controller was off. Therefore, the system picked up. It was not active the switch. So now that the box is on, you see everything looks good. And you can see over here where it says input 15. If I click that, you're going to see the e-stop is now pressed. And you can see here reset is over here letting you know to click reset. Right now I depressed the e-stop physically on the, the Gecko controller. So therefore the software is activating correctly. I'm going to now click reset up here and it's now once again it's letting me know the same thing. It will not let you reset on the software unless the actual switch on the controller is reset first. So I'm going to reset it on the switch. You can see now the input 15 now is not lit anymore. I'm going to click this and then I'm going to come over here and click reset and you're good to go. Everything here is now set. The software does have those safety reasons built in. So as we come over here, I want you also to take note, uh, we're going to go to input output setup. You want your e-stop for the gecko set up to pin 15 port 1 and you're going to save apply settings and then save settings. If you don't put it on pin 15 and port 1, you will not get the e-stop to function with the software. The software will be reset and they won't work correspondingly together. And what I mean by that, if I press the e-stop now, physically, the software corresponds that signal and triggers the reset. So I'm going to reset the box once again. Now I'm going to reset it on the software and I'm good to go. Once you've got that all done and you're, like I stated earlier, the LEDs on the back of the UC100 are lit, both the green and the blue, you're ready to jog. So then you can come over here and play with your jog speeds. You can see you're at 10%, 20, 30, 50, 60. It's pretty neat. You just scroll the mouse over and it'll pop up. Um, the next thing you can do is you can come over here 
to your run screen and you can load you know load a file again any files you're gonna have for G code everything is in here so you're set if you want to copy them in here you can go through and, and do all that on your system so basically you can see basically how this set up it's very very basic it's a 40 page instruction manual but overall it's a very very smooth and simple process to install and, and utilize the software so if you guys have any questions hopefully this has pretty much answered them um, if you do run into any headaches the easiest thing to do is uh, first I would suggest messaging um, CNC drive because the guru, Balsas, is their lead engineer who actually developed the software. He will know basically everything there is to know as far as how to get it to run on your specific system if you're having issues. However, on newer systems, I've yet to find you know, a simple message coming to me or him, and we can get it solved. If, if you don't get an answer right away from him, you can always message me, and I'll do my best to help you. But again, with so many variations on systems, it's hard for me to keep up with every computer that's out. But again, we'll get it solved. One way or another, we'll get you up and running I just wanted to do this to hopefully take away some of the confusion again it's a very basic piece of software and I cannot stress to you guys enough take your time and read the manual that comes with the software it's only 40 pages and even if you have to read it twice read it three times to make sure you fully understand what you're purchasing other than that you're all set and if you have any questions don't be afraid to message me thank you take care